Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about examples of canceling radicals with exponents. What you need for this exercise are a pen or pencil, piece of paper, and a calculator, whether it be a scientific one or a graphing calculator. So we're going to go over a few examples right now. Now, one thing that you want to think about and when it comes to radicals and exponents is this very important property here. If you have a base that's raised to a fraction power, anything of this sort can always be converted to a radical and vice versa. In other words, here, the n, which is the denominator, goes inside this portion of the square root, or actually radical, and the rest of the expression goes underneath here. And vice versa, you can go from a radical expression to an exponent form to write it in non-radical form. So, for example, if you have x to the 3 fourths, this can be converted to a fourth root and x to the third power. Now, conversely, if you have, let's just say, the seventh root of y to the third, then you would do the same thing. You have y. Now, the number that's inside this portion of the radical is always going to be in the denominator, and what's inside will always be the numerator. So inside exponent is the numerator, and the outside number is the denominator. Now that proves really useful when it comes to solving equations with radicals involved because you can actually rewrite them and cancel out the radicals in the long run. So for example, if you have, let's just say, the fourth root of x is equal to 2. Now, keep in mind here, because you don't see an exponent on the inside, you know the exponent is 1. But what you can do is use the properties that we've been talking about and convert this to an exponent. So for example, this will be x to the, again like we talked about before, what's inside is your numerator and what's outside is in the denominator, and that's going to equal to 2. Now, to get rid of any radicals which become an exponent, you will raise both sides by the denominator of the exponent. So in this case, this being 4, you raise both sides to the fourth power. Now what will happen here is the 4s will cancel. In this case, you're left with x, and 2 to the fourth is going to give you 16. Now, let's do another quick example here. Suppose you have an equation, the cube root of y is equal to, oh, let's just say 4. Again, use this property right next to it that we've been talking about since the beginning of this lesson. You have y. Now again, the inside is your numerator, your outside is your denominator, and that's going to equal to 4. Just like we did in the previous example, we're going to raise both sides to the denominator, which is 3, and the 3's will cancel. You have y equal to, and 4 to the third is going to be 64. So, there are many other examples out there, but I hope this will get you started. I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you cancel radicals with exponents.